The first chapter of Black Clover just so happens to be one of my favorite chapters of all time. In a broad sense, it could be considered to be a rough introduction to most of the anime community, but this first chapter does a lot for the actual story of Black Clover and everything pushing forward in the rest of the series. This first chapter is something to be viewed as unimpressive, stereotypical, or something that we've all seen before, so on and so forth. But I still have numerous reasons as to why I hold this first chapter in such a high regard, because it's a very solid introduction. For instance, there's a moment that really stands out in Black Clover. Although it's really subtle, it says a lot about the world that Asta lives in. When Asta shoots magic, the little kids make fun of him because he doesn't have any magic powers. And as a response to this, Asta then shows what he is capable of, which is doing a ton of sit-ups at an incredible speed. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't really think much of this. <laughs> you would just blow it off for it being a funny moment, which it is. But when looking at this scene from our first impression of Black Clover, when we see Asta do these sit-ups, we're just thinking, what the fuck is this guy doing? Yet, when we finally understand Asta's character and why he does what he does, it makes sense as to why he was doing sit-ups in the first place. Think of it like this. Asta could not shoot any magic, and then he just randomly starts sitting up like a maniac. Right here, he is really just showing off the fact that he can work hard. And then we see Yuno, who has magic, finish one of the most tedious chores in the world really easily due to the fact that he has magic. And so, Asta decides to do a chore too, although it may not be a tedious one, it is a chore that requires hard work. Because chopping wood ain't easy, and Asta don't look like no Paul Bunyan. And when Asta goes to chop the wood, Yuno immediately begins to chop it before him. So what is the significance of this? Well, this scene shows how badly magic snuffs out hard work and effort. By having Yuno easily chop the wood compared to how much effort Asta would have had to put into this situation by using the axe to cut the wood, only goes to show how useless Asta really is, due to the fact that he has no magic in a world where magic is literally everything. And if it isn't already obvious, Yuno is Asta's friend, and he also happens to be Asta's rival. But in his case, unlike Asta, who has nothing, he has everything. And when you first look at it, it seems very generic because we've seen rivalries in anime a thousand times over. But in this particular case, a rivalry has never been done to such a literal extreme. And the very first chapter does an amazing job at showing the difference between these two characters and their overall relationship and what it means for both Asta and Yuno. Because although Asta and Yuno are complete polar opposites, they're the same. Due to Asta's circumstance, people will laugh and continue to mock him no matter what he does. And due to Yuno's circumstance, people will always be amazed and shocked by his presence. Yet at the end of the day, both Asta and Yuno end up catching everyone's eye. And it becomes very clear here because everyone is supposed to get a grimoire at the age of 15. Yet Asta did not get a grimoire. Um, my grimoire's not coming. <coughs> Try again next year. What? <laughs> what the heck? It's actually amazing. That's too funny. A four-leaf? Clover? You're so cool, you know? 
He's the ray of hope of this region. You're amazing. In this situation, it's easy to notice how the crowd reacts differently from Asta in comparison to Yuno. With that being said, Asta had received a negative reaction while Yuno had received a positive reaction. Yet both reactions from the crowd are inevitably the same. When being made fun of, it's amazing to see how much of a loser Asta is. And when being praised, it's amazing to see how much of a winner Yuno is. And this ultimately ties in to how both of these characters approach their problems. Asta is amazing due to his shortcomings, while Yuno is amazing due to his advantages. And this is what ultimately makes them equals. Just you wait. I'll catch up soon enough. After all, I'm your rival. There's no way. And this chapter continues to show what the rivalry between Asta and Yuno means. To not only their motivations, but also their relationship. Until recently, I was one of the Magic Knights, Revchi of Chain Magic. I was pretty famous. But now, I'm just a wretched old thief. Only the Chosen One gets to use his grimoire. But an Underworld Collector would pay insane money for a four-leaf clover grimoire. Even though you were chosen by the four-leaf, you're still a little chickadee who just received his grimoire. How unfortunate that I happen to be here. Your legend will end before it could even begin. Asta! Huh. You're that boy. A grimoire is a precious thing that belongs to its receiver. Give it back to Yuno, you jerk. Run, Asta. I'm not going to run away from this disgraced jerk. I'm not done yet. There is a huge significance to this scene because of the role it plays when it comes to showing the relationship between Yuno and Asta. That's mine. I'm just going to change it into cash, boy. Besides, this item is too nice for a poor orphan to have. In this world, magic is everything. Did you want to have a magic duel with me and die? Whoa! What's with this brat? That belongs to you now. Give it back! Get off me, you little punk! You dirty orphan! Asta! I'm not done yet! You little... And I'm still not done yet, bastard! Not yet! Not yet! Not yet! Fine. You can have it back. In the first chapter of Black Clover, there is a reason as to why this flashback took place. And it plays a huge role into helping us understand both Asta and Yuno. And both scenarios are nearly identical. That's mine. I'm just going to change it into cash, boy. Only the Chosen One gets to use his grimoire. But an Underworld Collector would pay insane money for a four-leaf clover grimoire. Yuno's grimoire was about to be stolen and sold for money. And in the past, Yuno's necklace was also stolen and going to be sold for money. And in each situation, Asta took it upon himself to return what is precious to his friend, which just goes to show how much Asta appreciates Yuno. And the outcome for Asta was different each time. As a child, Asta did not give up until he eventually returned what was rightfully Yuno's. Asta was able to return the pendant because he did not give up. But when it came to returning Yuno's grimoire, he eventually did give up. Now why would Asta give up? I never thought someone like you existed. When I think about what you've been through and what you'll face in the future, I feel pity for you. I'm sure your friend, the great genius, makes fun of you as well. 
just you wait. I'll catch up soon enough. After all, I'm your rival. There's no way. Asta gave up because he thought his friend no longer believed in him. Maybe Yuno is so skilled, he was chosen by the Four Leaf. I'm probably just getting in his way by being around him. In this world, you won't be able to do anything. Nothing at all. You should give up on everything. You were born to be a loser. He's right. No matter how much effort I put in, there are things that can't be helped. I, I guess it's time. I give. Hey, who are you calling a loser? There's no way. Asta was wrong about how Yuno felt. <laughs> I knew it. Asta not being chosen? There's no way that could happen. Asta is my rival. And because Asta's friend, who he thinks is so amazing, and even values him as an equal, Yuno gives Asta the strength to never give up. You saved me again. I'll repay you for this, someday. And Asta gives Yuno the strength to never give up. He gave me the courage to move forward when I was too scared to even move. No matter how far I went ahead, he stuck with me and came along because Asta never gave up. I. Do you remember our promise? I didn't think you remembered. Unlike most anime rivalries, this rivalry is a true rivalry. Asta is the reason why Yuno is so great. And Yuno is the reason that Asta is so great. And because of this, one could not exist without the other. <laughs>